Bonjour, hi, welcome to another video of Cloud in 5 Minutes. I'm Frank Boucher, Microsoft Azure MVP based in Montreal, Canada. And today I want to talk about CI CD continuous integration with Azure DevOps. For today's demo, I will take an ASP.NET Core web app and I will put it in Azure DevOps. I want it to be built automatically at every push and deploy in Azure automatically also. So I already create a simple application called Simple Frank Demo and I open it in Visual Studio Code. I just edit the home controller and add cloud five in it message. Now I will need to create a local repository. So now if I do a git status, everything is up to date. Now we need to go in, in uh, the Azure DevOps to set up our environment. So Azure DevOps is the rebranding of the VSTS and we got with it a few nice new color and new feature. So there it is, Azure DevOps, very similar, very clean, efficient. So we'll create a new project. We'll call it again, Simple Frank Demo. I will make it public and I will still be able to use Git. So we'll create that, we'll take a few seconds, and voila, we have our environment. So see the new color are there. So we have an overview here with the documentation, dashboard, wiki still available. We have the board where we'll have our backlog, sprint, task, everything, our repository, and that's where we start. What we want is add a remote. So I need to copy this and I will add that. So this way, now, my code will be pushed into Azure DevOps. Perfect, already done. So now if I refresh, I see now I have my code. Perfect. Now, the new thing, pipelines. So this is the new feature. It's really powerful. So to get started, we'll create a new pipeline for the build. So let's create a new one. The build will can work on a repository that is remote or in Azure. So even GitHub is working. So, but you saw my code is in Azure repos, so we'll use that. He already found it, so simple Frank demo is there, so we'll pick it. And now you will have multiple template because we are building an application. So it could be custom, but you could also go with different templates. But for now, SPNet Core, it's exactly what I need. Perfect. So this new Azure Pipeline.yaml file, that's new. And maybe a few of you will be uncomfortable with it. It's not that complex. A YAML file is a little bit like a JSON file, but without the curly brackets. Instead, it's very important to keep the indentation. That will make a big difference between something that pass or fail. Trust me, I talk because I know. To know more about this, just go here in the documentation. You have a bunch of examples and a lot of information, and it's also available in multiple languages. For now, our Azure pipeline, it's not complete for our full CI CD process, but it's enough for our build. So we'll keep it that way. Now, by clicking that save and run button, I will take that file and save it, add it to the root of my repository. So that's why I have here commit and the file. Our build just got triggered and now it's running. Great, now it worked. So see, here I have a build that is successful. Perfect, we are halfway there. Now we need to create a release pipeline to deploy and I want it automatic. So before we create that, we need an empty shell, a web app, and we'll do that by using Azure CLI. So let's go in here and we'll clear my screen and now I will, as we know, to have a web app in Azure, we need three things. First, a resource group. 
second a resource plan and the third is a web app so now i will create a resource group called simple group voila the second i will create a service plan i will use the free SKU. Um, you don't need to use free you should in fact use something more but since it's a demo it's good enough voila so let's clear it and now i'll create the web app again i'm re i'm using the the plan and the resource group created previously excellent so now we have an, an app let's go in the portal just see that everything is there so simple group and now i have my application and my plan great everything worked perfectly now remember i told you that the uh, pipeline azure pipeline.yaml was not good enough for ci cd now we need to edit it so you know what i think i will come here and i will pull the new source i could have um, just edited right away here but let's check here i have my new pipeline and we will add new f so i'm adding two new tasks to get package we need to do a .NET publish and then we want to move the files in our artifact folder so I'm creating a task for that that's it all the tasks those tasks are explained in the documentation it's very simple and obviously will change depending on what kind of solution you're building great so just update pipeline there and I'm pushing so because I pushed, now I should have a new build that got started. So let's have a look. Pipeline and then build. And I see I have a new build in process. Excellent. Great. So while that thing is building, let's create our release pipeline. So we'll go here in pipeline and then release. And we'll click the new pipeline button. Great. Now we have a bunch of templates. For, for me, it will be the Azure App Service deployment. And here you put something, could be prod, dev, whatever. For this per demo, I will just put to Azure. Now, to deploy, we need an artifact. So let's grab our artifact from the previous build. So you could have a special repository where you drop from another server, you drop your build there. It could be from GitHub, it could be other source. For now, we want to use the build, so I'm using this one and there. Now I will use the latest. You could have multiple version with tags that you use. It's a demo, so we'll keep it simple. And I will name the output drop. Perfect. I want my release pipeline to get triggered every time I got new artifact available. So here, that little lightning bolt we click on that and i will make it enable and the de default branch you could have different nightly build and etc a bunch of different build for now we'll keep it simple excellent the last thing we need is to specify the destination so first we need to go and select a subscription Excellent. Now we need to authorize it. We'll just do that off screen. Excellent. So we specify the type and then we go for the app service name. So service plan demo is there. So now I just need to save it and I'll keep it that way. Perfect. Voila. So now we need to specify create a release. Yes, to Azure, drops, create, excellent. And if I go see the release one, I could even deploy it. Great, looks like it's done. So now let's go back in the portal. We'll click here. Great, so now we click here and we should see our website. Excellent, and if I go in about, Five, cloud five minutes in contact cloud five minutes it worked now let's see if by adding some content we could trigger everything and redeploy it so let's add 
a new readme file first. I will go change, let's put final here. Voila. And from the root, I want to also add the readme file, new file. And one thing I want to show you is here now we have build and release. And if we go at here at build, you could go grab some badges. So status badges. So this is those thing where you see the status. So let's take this and go back here. We'll put that and then I will say blah, blah, blah. Save it. We'll call it readme. And I want it to add the root, voila. So now I should have two files. So pass update commit and I push. And now that thing should trigger my build and got deployed. So let's see if I refresh the page. Perfect, our build got triggered, that's not new. While it's building, let's have a look to my readme file we just had. So now we go in the overview summary and we can add a project description. So we could add a description from there or use a readme file. So if I click it from the repository, we'll see here the simple Azure test and blah, 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 and we see my badge. So this is the status of the last build. So this is really useful. You will have a lot of information, though that information is now dynamic. So now let's see what happened with our pipeline. So still building. Excellent. Just got done. So now if we look, the release should be triggered automatically. It is now working. Excellent. So it really works. Now let's see if our change got update in our portal. Just need to wait a little bit. That's always the part that is feel like it's a never ending. Come on. Succeed. So if I go and refresh. Yay, it worked. Excellent. Okay, so see, it was very simple. And those pipelines will work whatever your code is in Azure repos or in GitHub. So it's very wonderful. And you got a lot of building for free. So use it. Perfect. So see, it works. So the goal of today was to show you this guys because soon I will start a new project where I will be building an application from scratch and I will be leveraging those Azure DevOps tools. So I wanted to do a quick overview, see what's possible. I hope you liked this video and I hope it was useful. If it was your first cloud in five minutes, know that every second week I publish short video like this one to answer technical questions. And as usual, subscribe, like and share it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.